Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Chris Galbraith from Boghall Parish Church in Bathgate. Presiding officer and members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for this invitation and greetings from Boghall Parish. When Jesus told stories, he often compared two people, the rich man and Lazarus, the Pharisee and the poor widow, the two sons, the sheep and the goats. I wonder what stories Jesus would tell today to make his point. I get the feeling that there are two types of people in the world, and you can tell them apart in this way. If you're walking down the street and there's just enough room for two to pass, and a couple come towards you, what do you do? Do you step into the gutter and let them pass, or do you carry on walking, oblivious that the other people are even there? Are you a gutter person or a pavement person? And if you're having to think about it, then you're a pavement person because us gutter folk don't need to think about it. The theologians, the philosophers, and the evolutionary biologists have been discussing human nature for as long as they have been around. The poets, too, have wrestled with what we are made for and how we should live our lives. Robert Burns' oft-quoted line, to see ourselves as others see us, is still as relevant today as when he wrote it. Jesus said that we need to be taught how to see. He said, if your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. The lens with which we see the world and ourselves needs to be clean for us to be healthy in our world. Thankfully, most religions are rediscovering their meditative traditions. It means that as well as finding stillness, that time to look inwards, to allow God in, we also end up looking outwards to the world and see it in a different way. It's not just about seeing ourselves as others see us, or indeed as God sees us, but it's also about seeing others as God sees them. Some Christians see the crucifixion of Jesus as the event which should have led to the end of all scapegoating. The cross says that scapegoating is a bankrupt system. Pavement people or gutter people? I think maybe that's just really another way of judging folks. It seems like seeing ourselves and others with a healthy eye of ending stereotyping and scapegoating is a bit harder to do than to see. 